I'm thinking now, you know, if we go down, you know, north side, maybe, maybe northwest, then we might be able to come across some of the city folk over there. Maybe ransack the grocery store as long as there's not enough, you know, walkers around. Hello? Coral. Coral. I thought I lost you there for a sec, buddy. What's going on? You ain't bit, ain't you? Okay. Don't mind if I play it safe, do you? I'm just gonna run a quick walker test on you. I know, I know, son. You're my own flesh and blood, but I need to make sure that my own flesh and blood in on your dinner tonight. Now, look into this light. Carl, please. This is of the utmost importance. Alright. Go on, give me about five jumping jacks. Carl, this is part of the zombie walker spooky dookie test, okay? To make sure that you're not a walker. Okay. Good job, son. Now, did you hear anything I just said? <sighs> Coral. I'm gonna explain this one more time. We're already losing daylight, okay? Now, we're running low on gas, okay? <sighs> we already know that there's uh, less than friendly folk out there. The governor, Negan, the fireflies. That's the wrong universe. Either way, we need to make our way to town, okay? I heard on the way there there's a gas station we could, uh, fill her up. But the main goal is hitting up that grocery store. I know. I know, it's gonna be ransacked. It's gonna be full of walkers, talkers, blockers, and more. But, I got me here this map. It's nice. Canvas printed map. I've studied it head to toe. And as long as we follow what's on here, Pretty sure we'll be able to find a sanctuary. Salvation. Okay? So you hold on to this. Carl, give me the give me your phone. Give me your phone, Carl. You have been playing your video games here for way too long. This is father-son bonding time. I mean, did you even see that walker I had shot at earlier today? You probably didn't. Okay. Pay attention to your pop. Now, we need to always be on alert while out there, Carl, okay? I mean, you only got one eye. I can't be seen for the both of us, all right? Use your ears. Carl, you hear that? Okay, there's probably nothing. Maybe just, you know, all these animals and critters out here in the nightlife, but... I know a shortcut to the grocery store through my map. If we just hit uh, that transit line underground, we're going to be avoiding a lot of the walkers up top. I heard the subways may be dark. Some of them still have electricity, but we need to grab all the supplies we need in order to make it back. Okay, so I'll carry the gas can. Carrie Deborah here. It's my pride and joy. <laughs> oh, you can carry, uh, here we go, here's a weapon. This right here, I got back at a lake when I was a younger kid like you. <laughs> my good old pal Jason gave it to me. All you gotta do 
is unsheath that bad boy and you got yourself a zombie apocalypse killing machine coral. Okay. Now, you hold on to this. Make sure that if you see anything, we use our secret weapon. Okay, I'll show you that later. We don't have much time. But right now, we need to make it over to that transit system. Okay. Keep your peepers peeled and keep your eyes peeled. I'll see you there, Carl. You just stay right behind me. I'll lead the way. Water. Oh, Carl. You're so spoiled. This. This is our last water bottle. We're talking maybe 75% left, okay? I had to chug a, a bunch of it earlier, had myself some Takis, you know. Those can give me a little fuego in the mouth, though. You know what I'm saying, Carl? Okay. You take care of the water. We ain't got none until we get to the grocery store. Alright, Carl. Follow my lead. Back in the day, 
I used to play pranks on my dad all the time. <laughs> you talking about Coral? <laughs> Zombie apocalypse only been going on for a couple of years, all right. Seems like the blood's been going to your head there. Gotta make sure we take care of you now. It's right here. Silky bandages. All right. We're just gonna bandage you up real quick, okay?
looks like the grocery store is behind us. It's a little banged up, but uh, we might be able to find a thing or two there, perhaps. Uh, food. Maybe some more water, because your injury wasted a lot of our water. Carl, I hate to say it. I hate to say it. You're, you're a bit of a bit of, bit of a liability when it comes to my survival here. I'm going to put this down. Uh, but I know that your mother would have wanted me to take care of you. Okay. Oh, uh, me too. Me too, of course. I got I got plenty of uh, survival instinct in me. I'm just looking out, you know, every situation, make sure that we're taken care of, keeping my ears of coral. thought it was your Uncle Shane. Don't want to run into him again. Oh, adult business, Carl. You need to know about that. Okay. I know you cut yourself in that machete earlier, so I got you another weapon. This one's more of a psychological weapon on the zombies. Alright. On the walkers. Okay. Bam. It's right here. We'll strike fear in any walkers. Jimmy's. Oh, really? 
may just seem like a nice friendly dog right now, but the second I turn it on. Calm down now. Exactly, Carl. I'm gonna ask you to please, please bear with me. We're running low on ammo. We're running low on a lot of things. I need you to please stick with me on this one. You ready to head inside? Okay. Follow me. Okay. The building has not yet been secured, so we need to be as quiet as possible when scavenging, okay? Make sure you take your little dog puppet. Okay, good. You go fan out. Look for something. I'm gonna stay right here. And wait for you to get back, okay? Don't worry, Carl. I'll take care of you. I'm at the entrance. Now go on, get. Useless Namacon. Okay, what is this gonna do for us? Oh, really? It's supposed to bring the dead back to life. Hmm. Demonic energy and spirits. Okay. What is this? Some ritualistic stuff here, Carl. I don't know. I don't know about this. Oh. Kinda looks like some of the walkers out there right now. Listen, I don't know if you know this, Carl, but what good is a book going to do us that brings the dead back to life if, get this, the dead are already coming back to life, Carl. You see, this is why I always wanted a daughter. She would at least be able to think right. You opened up your badges. Okay. Don't worry. I found this duct tape while you were doing your thing over there in your library reading books. All I gotta do is get a strip of this. And we'll, we'll wrap your bandages back up, okay, Carl? Hold up there for the night. 
but as you're walking, you do what these walkers can't, okay? It's the only way I can differentiate which one's you and which one's them. <laughs> it's very simple, Carl. Don't forget to smile.